Yeah, so you can see there was an call conscious kind of so, so uh, we will correct, cover today's topic like this is of Node.js and PM Node modules. Uh, Okay, global modules. And some like and local server. Yeah. So today we will cover all almost uh, all the topics which is coming to the Node.js and which was not covered earlier. Because, uh, these things will apply all the Node.js modules. And we also use these modules like sort of modules in the UI when you're developing an application in the Angular. So we also use Node.js and Node modules. So this is a common part of front end back end. So in front end, if you're getting any application like React and QGIS, or you're getting any kind of indication testing and uh, indication test, or you can say unit test. So in all the places, you need to come across a Node module, Node.js. So you see, Node.js is part of uh, both front end back end. If you're working on the only front end, then also you need Node.js. If you're working on only back end, you also need, need Node.js. So you cannot get away, away from the Node.js part. It will come up with any web pack. So, web pack we use for bundling of your application on the front end side. So, you will come across a Node.js and Node module. So, like, it is like you can see integral part of your development. So, when you do, so in back end, if you're not using Node.js, you can, like, you may be, you may be using less to like, enhancing the uh, you can say combining the microservices and anyway you host uh, while hosting we use some sort of node.js applications and node is also used in some devices like if you're using alexa or like or you're using any kind of uh, uh, speakers so where we, where we install the normal node.js server in the device itself so there are many like uh, areas in Node.js is utilizing. So yeah, so let's see about the Node.js. So let's see. As you know, well, if you're using it, you don't need to pay and even to anything regarding the, like if you're using java you need to, you need to pay the by the license if you use commercially so the term open source source means it's like open to you like which is created by some community and which is open to anyone else you can use without paying any 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 amount of license or to to any, any anyone so that's why you, you can see a lot of companies using node.js because all the startups, uh, startups, they like they can't pay, like uh, uh, you can see, yeah, that amount like that much, for, you know, for licensing. If you think Java or .NET, you need to buy some license. Otherwise, you cannot use commercially. So when you you working creating your own company or like working for a company or you opening any startup, so 
in that cases you can see that they adopt they adopting the open source technologies because they are open source so they no need to pay anything to anyone and you see like handled by the handled and developed by the community so you can say find like find the more developers for that and there like more, more contribution of the people on particular those areas like if you using paid version like if using java and other like dot net so you cannot find that that much contributor with the do the paid so people who working on the that's the organizations they can only only develop and deploy for that so in open source community you can find a lot of reusable codes a lot of modules like, like as we have in the uh, so we using npm is like a, a tool allow, 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 to allow you to download and use the packages so it's a node package manager so what do you do download deploy it What is deploy? Is like the URL of your some server. So deploy it. You can understand like uh, you you have some server similar to like Git as you deploy or application over the GitHub or or Bitbucket. So you have different like version in system. So in that case, originally what we do we do deploy our application. So similar to that, uh, in uh. in case of uh, node js so npm basically it do download the when you run uh, npm and do package to so by default the server name is repository So whenever you type any package, like any any package any package name with the npm install, so it do basically go into the its specific server, and it will search the package and download into your local system. That is use of npm basically. So using npm, you can create your own. Uh, own own package and host your own package. So if you see that there's an npm repository, please. So this is you are like uh, there are some dot default npm registry you are where you can. Where well, they will fetch the packages, and you can see like so this you can see. Npm is configured to use the uh, use npm propagation for public registry. This is you are by default. So when you install Node JS into your system, and you run npm install any any tool, it will go into this URL. So you can. So it will go into this URL, and in this server, it will search your package, and it will download accordingly. So this is your repository, but you can change this path. Like now, uh, I work in a company where I made some packages, and uh, I hosted the packages into the, my my internet. Like uh, like you you can see like there will be big big companies who. get creating their own own component and own modules and which is not available you were used to out the yeah. company but not outside yes so in that case what do you they change this url in npm rc file so there's a dot npm rc file Where we can so 
it will search you will find that here so you should download from local only so that way like, you can make your own company level packages and due to security they will not expose to outside so like many company do like in java you can see we will maven and in cv maven we create your own server and install the maven and deploy the own packages so like in this happen with all the it's mostly all the languages you can create your uh, your private uh, uh um, package system so that you can like uh, that you so you basically what is that so the matter like uh, you can see the solution is what is package so it is nothing just like a uh, uh, set of uh, java javascript files This is Java to code. So that uh, we can download and use it. So, so it's a benefit of the benefit yoga. He improve the increase the usability. So using this packages or packages we can increase the usability of our tool increase the usability of code so like if anybody return a function for to do to, do, to download a file so that function can be used by many people so they don't need to write again again same code so they like him so if anyone one do it one time he created a package and hosted in the npm repository and you can like simply do npm install and you can download that uh, package and after downloading you can use it just import your do your code and you will got the code so you so, so what is benefit is a benefit given so the the so benefit is that you save the time of of coding so so it so like if you say like, like benefit is that um, save save the the uh, development time time and cost right because if you and development cost will save away now kab kya ab ab dwata the code you have to you will take to write the whole one month that you got the code in a few second so one month task is done in one second so how do it reduce the uh, how how it reduce the like uh, the cost of development and, and uh like i mean they don't have to uh, hire other people to write same code again and again yes i mean if once it is done it's basically reused by Yes. Or so basically, yeah. So the benefits, so, so, so that's how we use packages. So in in each language like Java, .NET, PHP, and and you can say in the Python. So in in Python we have we have uh, PIP, which is used for packaging uh, to uh, to use as a package manager. So same way in Java we use Maven or and Gradle. to manage the packages and download the packages the same we use we use npm in javascript so basically what happening like you have existing code you just download and using it so what so the time that you is spending to write that code again again so that is saved so it's like your say your development is will go fast and you will get more easily the the application which is running on production and like your task is complete more faster way. so it help us he'll help a lot so so basically uh, this is the main reason to use a packages so it do save your development and time also So as I shown you, like there's an npm rc file where we contain the. Mm -hmm. So now it. So npm rc. This is 
present in new home folder so i'm not showing it all there so if you want to see that file let me show you npmrc folder option folders I got it yeah it mean, yes in your home folder I recently installed no, I think yeah. I know so that right now I not I haven't downloaded any modules, so that's why it's not displaying in my stock. But uh, let me install some module. So, like if you want to see any module like how somewhere it it's going to download your packages. Let me show you. So you, you simply when it when you install your packages like npm install so if you want to see that uh, you want to see the where from where it's going to it's going to download your packages and from where it makes a request so all you can see by the debug uh, debug flag so there debug with this flag double uh, hyphen d so that hyphen d will tell you he will run your uh, run your packages and npm, npm command in the debug mode so in debug, debug mode you can see that from where it's going to download the packages and you can see all the information you will get it it will switch to first search the version number give it the version of your node and, and it, you can see it making a request here in registry path so you can see that this is like from where it's finding how it's finding that so it's downloading all the packages from fetching from the this this path registry registry dot npm dot org. So if you change this path into the npmrc, it will go and download from. It will search there. So what are the path you will give in npmrc? It will go and search the your module in, in that path. So that way, basically, uh, you can say um, like uh, you you, uh, you can customize your uh, your package system. You, if you if you don't want to allow to go to the, the outside of your uh, your uh, internet then in that case you can do do similar kind of so so, so by that you can see like if so sometimes sometimes what happens if you don't use hyphen d it will not give any message and it will like taking the time and giving some error like like sometimes what happens like you work in, in a company they're having some vpn vpn uh, and without vpn you cannot actually go to outside network so sometimes you don't you, you haven't joined the network of vpn then but then you're installing any module it, it is not installing it didn't give wait and wait it's not giving any message so in that case what happens it making the request to go out but in getting 404 means they they are if you're not in vpn 
you cannot access the outside network so due to you cannot access outside network this will call will not go so it will already go it will give a d tank and 404 you see you are not found and in that case what happen you will just only see the blank screen without any message a water problem occurred the user will not able to know why why, why module is not installing it giving error, error again so in that case it's like to debug that if you keep why i'm not able to install node module and so you can just type hyphen d so what it will do it will log the all the logs so you can see it is not being request to the that server or message or anything you will you can see in the console so everything is visible to you so that's why like uh, when you if you face any issue regarding the or it will take me too much time you just like add hyphen d and rerun re so when you rerun it it will uh, give you all the logs keep from where taking taking some cash so, like if you already installed in your if you already have installed you know, any module in your system it will take some cache otherwise it will go and call the download from server so you see so all the depending component depending module of their packages all will download by the single single npm run installed so these are module is installed in my system So it happened the fault of the Okay, yeah. Hmm. So this is really we do install the Node.js and the model. Like, so it's really, it's really uh, when we install the any module, so there. One we use for local install module name. And for global, and Now after that we see how to get yes. so you know how to set up the Node.js project. Also, what is the best way how to practice? You know, you are taught me promises, I mean, easy yeah. the way, and uh, all these. How should I practice these things? So, so there's one, there are two ways. So either you can solve the like uh, regarding like the interview, like coding questions, like as I, I, I send you. Whatever you send. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So one way is that way. 
second way is that either you creating any application or project uh or like so in that case you can like you you will use this so basically when you make, make up the application like uh, you can say you're making any application for a uh, job uh so for job posting like for job search in that application you will like make any api call then you use promises when you use any like so so there are two ways like either you can solve the questions of your javascript the different kind of questions then you will get a chance to use the, this this concept second way you if you begin any project or you are in that case you will have to like you will utilize uh, this kind of thing So, so, so you, uh, you got to know right how to like how do you practice like so either you yeah i think i'm gonna go with you i'm gonna follow, follow the questions only for now yes. so whatever you said because i am not confident in coding so i mm -hmm. really wanna get that done. yeah so basically as soon as you make the project or like you will you will do you will get in confidence day one. so you, you cannot get confident in one day you will get confidence day by when practicing the same same question like same type of or theory like same type of concept you using every like uh, uh in actually uh question like yourself then you can actually get the more idea like even using it so like, right now we having the project now now we make we need to make a project so first we initialize the npm so how you start inside you write npm in it So when you write that, when you type this, this one, it will set up the project for your system for Node.js project. So it do ask you package name. So you can say hmm, version description. Entry point to do the main file to just go in depth, just go on. Get to work. So here you can get the path of your project. Like if you make having the git path, then you can give here keyword like by which your package package can search by the user. So you can give keyword here. author license. So this is your package file look like. So you're asking is it okay? If you say yes, it will create that. So now you can see what it did in the project folder. It make a package or JSON file, a configuration file dictated like meta file. You can come see the package file with the LF. So this is your package file dictated, which name is job seeker, description, version number. So this is like starting up your getting any package. So you see any like so if you see in the node module, so you you will find this kind of configuration in that they having so all the Node.js projects will have a, a name, version, description, and main script and author. Right? So these are basically parameters of the package file. Yes. So now you have. So now you have this uh, file. So, so your main entry file is index.js, which is main file. So how do you use the main file? Main file. 
You can open this file in some editor or use notepad. Let's use notepad here. Let's just code in VS Code. So you can see this is a main file. Okay. You can like open a whole project here. So you click on open folder and uh, shift the shell project. And so you will get the whole project and index file. So you have a terminal also here. So you get terminal here. And you should be done the command and now this file is empty. So let's first run console.log. My first project. Okay. So now if you run npm, it's, it's saying no, uh, no command found. So npm start. Right. Why? Because we not define any command here in this package file. So we are intending to, intend to find this command into this file. So let's, let's start making the command here. Let's get make it start command. This is the, so when we, when any anyone type npm start, we just run node and index dot js. So we can this one. Now if you type npm start, see it printed my first project because we added node and index. File. So same way you can you can execute directly like node index or js. This way also. So when so basically you have seen when you restart any application you use npm start. Why? We can also use this one. But why we use this? Because in Node.js, Node start, we can add multiple commands. You want to execute to your server also, you have, you have client to your server. So you can like and client.js, server.js. So you can add multiple commands here. So that is, that is simple to remember. Like if you go to start, start up any application, you just type npm start and Make sure you should have the, the command mentioned in this script file. So same way you can define multiple commands here, like for build, npm run build, and the many commands you can add here. And you just run npm run command name. Yeah. So this is really the way like how to work. As to the node view, set up the node view. So, first we initialize your node view and so created the package file. It will contain all the dependencies. Right now, you can see there's no dependency. Okay. So, we so basically in node we have two kind of modules. Now we come module. Oh, you get the packages. So, like two kind of one is 
building it is like file OS is FS OS if you there like many kind of child and with the and second is uh, so one is built in and other is like uh, external packages yes or any library that we are going to get from outside so let's talk it yes right these two kind of yes like this this is a part of your Inbuilt package to make a local server. Yes. There is extra server. Sorry. So this is a package name. After you use the file, reading the file, like if you want to perform only any file of related operation. FS package. OS is like you want to get the any information regarding your your memory hardware uh, yeah you're running your computer we use os package child we use for like getting the the forking the child methods and child processes then we use, we use child uh, mod package http we use for like making the uh, server local server then we use this one so this is so these are basically my motto is to tell you these are part of Inbuilt package. So for that, you don't need to install any external module from like like npm install. You will not require to do npm install. So they already having in the Node.js. So when you install Node.js, it automatically come into your Node.js with your with your with your Node Node library Node package. Like, like as in Java, we having the some inbuilt packages like object. Lang, Java Lang, and uh, exception. The same will be having these are. other. Other uh, external packages. We, uh, if you want to make REST API, we can use FSGS. We can use the GS. If you want to make, make a so socket program, like to make a socket, socket connection web service between one client to second client. So then we use a uh, uh, socket uh, API, socket library. So this is basically like you can you can find like building packages and external packages. So you see the how to read a file and read and write file. So basically what we do we use a file system module so basically using node you cannot directly access the file so what we do we use the so fs module so node just gives us fs module which to allow you to read and write the file so first we do First, you need to import that module. So right now you have single file, right? This is IG empty. So you can't do anything. First, you what you do? You import uh, those methods that do read the file. So how do you import? You use require. So in yeah. So we do require the, those packages. So we do like in first. Uh, here we can use like a const 
and you can say uh, fs require. So we actually have we just require the file system module the in the code. But now we require the package and we can added the reference into the fs variable. So this is variable fs which keeping the reference of file package fs which is called file system because, because uh, this package have those methods which do allow you to create a create a file and write read a file that's why because node just don't have any method uh, itself regarding the file system that's why we importing this module after that you can like uh, you can read, write, rename, whatever the operation you can think that you, that you can do with the file. So, first, so, so what we did, first we make the uh, this one. And after that, if you want to select, like, we, we must create a file first. So, uh, write file. Or you can say so if you dot write file so you have one more thing so uh, as you know like uh, javascript is a particular language uh, so basically, basically the access model gives you have two ways to create a file so one is like uh, synchronous one is asynchronous so if you write file write function like write file so this will do as a synchronous because we buy the callback here like first we give the file name here like you can see file name my file okay. this is the name of file and uh, you give some content just uh, just to And here you will give the callback this way so we have file name so this is your file name this is your data and this is the will tell the callback if any error, error come you will capture the error here that's what log error so if you get any like see so this callback will called when operation completed so either file is created or either file is so if this will give any error so if file case is failed it will give error right else uh, like condition so if error come we print the error In the error here. Right. Else we can give message like console.log file created. So this is just a call back and nothing. Else. We we will be testing how to get a file in Node.js using FS module. So we can get folder, we can rename the folder, we can do everything whatever like uh, on the files. We do run this program. And PM start. So in the message file created successfully. Yes. You can see this is file created my file dot what your name we name we given and this is data. This is file we made using this command. If you like uh, this is our synchronous. I'm going to make synchronous call. You can just type like uh, write sync file. 
doing just like ten of this. So, so all the function which you running. If you if you want to if you want to make it synchronous. Yeah, like then you don't need to pass a callback, na. Like basically, what you don't do, like mm -hmm. this should go into next line when you file is created. Like if you want to create uh, create five files or or you want to read a file which is not present, so what do you first create that? After that, you will read, and you don't want to use callback, so then we generally use a these functions, right? You don't like thinking of. So like now you file created. Now you want to read it. How you read? Fs dot read file. Right. And what you do? You will be the path of the file which uh, path of filing which you want to read. So is a file a path file? You have file by my file. What else file we given here? Take this file name. Add here name. After that, call the callback. In the callback, you're getting the error and response. And you can like just do at the same. Call handler, call handler. Print file reading error. Correct. Else you can file file can display here. Response. So you can see. So we have already created. So we just read that file. So we comment this code. We want to comment this code. We already have this file, right? We want to read this file. So you can see they reading a file in the buffer. So when you we read file, so there are two ways. File. So one is the uh, one is the buffer stream. One is the buffer stream. So now we need to. Uh, so when you are like uh, we read any file, we read it in uh, we read in the binary binary form. Now we convert this form into the string. So how do make two string so that it can be readable by the normal normal user. So you can see file contained is just like that. So, so this is like this file read and write. Read and write, you know. Uh, Node yes, such as something. Add something in. Use a uh, append method, append file. As you as you have already a file, you want to append something. So you can use append here. Maybe if you want to add some content return to the existing file. So it's like you can read, write, append uh, the data with existing file, or you can create new file and you can read it. Oh yeah. So any question? So same with this. So there are many methods earlier regarding a file operation: read, write, delete, for delete, use text to delete this file. 
So you you use with you use a link a link method. So dot a link file file path. What is unlinked? Unlinked basically will be delete your file to delete the file from your system. Just pass the path of the file. It will delete the file. Let's see. And give me start. So it gives error that. Invalid callback. We not pass a callback here, so we can pass a callback. We did callback here. And that callback will give a message. We can take the same message from here. We can say. Uh, We copy the same message. And give here error. So in case it will give any error, you will get the error message. File. You can do that. Now you run um, enter start. When you run this, it will give an error. Okay, this is not closed. This is not bad. This one, and this one. Now we run it again. You see how it is removing. So you can see file is deleted. So you can see the file file gone. Gone away. So same it having the some other like method rename method like if you have file you can rename the some by the rename method you can change up the file name so these are like going to be hard so majorly we use, we use like uh, read write append the more like really we use like where we have the application where you want to upload the files then you use really uh, unlink method so this is all about like file system After that, you will see the server. Within HTTP module, we know HTTP module is a part of your Node here, so we don't need to install any extra anything because there is no dependency we have in the here. No, no dependency you can see. So it means if you deploy your application in any server, you don't need. To install any anything from apart from node here you don't need to do and game install so, so we so yeah. let's get a file here what dot here so what we do we do like module So, can you can require it? So, we can see. So, we require it. Also, okay. After requiring, what to do? We, which is the same way like, as we do, did with the FS. So, it provides some sort of methods like in configuration to to data server. So, it gives, it gives us a method. Create server to so use HTTP dot create server. This is method given by the HTTP module that we imported. Okay, here we pass callback. In callback, we have the 
request and response. So whenever, whenever you send any request to server, you will get the request object. Response is really what, what server sending to the client. So when client is sending to any anything to the to the server, <coughs> how how you where you get you will get here in request object is in this one. And when you find that we are sending some response to the client, we call this response or send. Right. So now we see now now so basically it will get get your server. Okay, but. Uh, so when you have server running in you into your system, you want to read and you want to send anything anything related to server. So you need some port number. Because all the applications and services are running on a particular port. So how we how our OS is identified any application by the port number. So when you do any task, anything, so each service running on a particular port. Assuming we have some default port like uh, for uh, services like FTTV use for web, web server, but we can give our custom board. So like so for port number we can give the dot listen. Means this server this server is listening at the so when you send any request to a particular port like let's say eight uh, eight eight let's say uh, yes sixty thousand. So this I give this port number. Okay. So whenever you send a request to in this port, then it will listen. So request will come here and you can like do console dot log. Over now request came to server. Of okay, party request will do. He need to respond the request. So otherwise, client will wait. He will not bring response. So what do you use this? You can use some message. We, we are sending this sponsor send. Yes, let's see. When you make any, uh, see. What is when you make any, to any server, like, as you, you, you do need login. How do you do make login? You, you submit form, right? Yeah. And that form is like browser. The browser sending the server with username and password, correct? Up your server will check that the request came, is it correct or not? He will check your data, is there any password from the request object? So, password he will get in this object, username. Okay, so whatever you sending some friend in our browser, you will get in this object, request RDQ. And after that, the browser will get what he do, he send a response like some token or something like. So how it sent it will send like using this one. Respond of send to client. Ki jisne bheja, I'm going to request uski pass ho wapas bhej de. Otherwise, to jo itna browser wo to wait kar wait karta raha jayega. Correct. So now we start server. So node server dot js. Now go to browser. Local host. Cheat. You can see this is called. It's saying request or send. Uh, response send is not function. Well, I respond. This. Response is not a function. This is what I'm having. Okay. Oh. Hmm. So we send, we can write response.write. 
and then you can send you can send in the response. This send is send be used with the access. So right now we are we are not using SSH, so we send using the right function. Now we are going to start the room. Now our start is already started. We now we send request to the HTTP port. You can see you get the response, and here you can get the request to the server. So when we so we what we responded this one request dot write. Yeah. So you got something? Yeah. So I'm saying. So now, when we request, when we call this URL, request came to uh, this server using, using this port, right? Now, when it came here, it printed the console log request came to server. Then we given the request dot write. Write this will do. It will respond the request. So, and the end. This request is completed. So when do when you do request dot end when this request is completed. So after that you will you can see the message. The message that you given. So this is basically communication ha communication happen between the server and client. So client request the client get the request in the re request object and he will respond the response object. So when you make an API, API will take input from the re request object. We will take request and we will send the response. Response and output. Uh, internal water processing they have. They do internal processing. So each API takes some request, gives some response. Take some request, gives some response. This, this is all API doing. Yeah. So any doubt till now? Um, I think I have, I am pretty much clear whatever you thought mm -hmm. and I have to read the documents. I mean, I'll just go through. Yeah. Um, also, uh, I was, you know, uh, I was doing this promises and mm -hmm. uh, I came across this venables. Which one? So we use dot then, right? Yes. In promise. Yeah. Okay. And there is this thing. Uh, it's called Denables. D H E N A B L E S. They were using Denables. Mm. So so they using with 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 what like? So they using. It. So you think they they using it uh, with the premises? Yes, also with the async await. No, then basically you can say. Um, one second. No, uh, it must be some sort of sort of object, right? Well, it says uh, like promise dot then await allows us to use then first objects, those with a callback then method. The idea is that a third party object may not be a promise, but promise compatible. If it supports dot then, that's enough to use it with await. No, 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 no but, but, but the label is not part of JavaScript. That is like, you can, you can say that is the, the, that is the, the custom, uh, the custom method or library that you must see. Oh. Can you okay. see? Can you see the screen or see the content that you? Or, or any screens or? Mm -hmm. Because in yeah, just. I'll share it. I'll share it. Yeah, sure. You need to. Yeah, I'm making. A... Make host. Yeah, I make host. Okay, so 
Yeah, I can see. So there we can we can class the number in that class. So this is this is like similar to that, na? like this like just creating a, a wrapper object, and like as we do like uh, we use dot then and we pass that with sorry we append that with the uh, with your with your promise promise object. So <laughs> so you can say you can like uh, uh, use, so uh, you can use with the same that like they do you are. Or reject the uh, There is function callback. So it just like similar, similar to callback basically. We we passing a callback here and then it will either resolve or reject uh, based on that. But I mean, it's, it's not preferable to use it. We can use dot then simply, right? I mean, it's just yeah. It basically yeah because when you already uh, already asking away it and dot then why we should not like. Okay. Okay. And uh, what are generators, and uh, what is the need of joining promises with generators? I mean, there was a question. I I I didn't. I don't know anything about it. So yeah. I'm just asking. So basically, you know, asking about it. They internally made mm -hmm. by made by generators. So generator basically okay. kind of part of it. It come into the ES six. Uh, so let me show you how it works. Uh, can you make me make me host? So data is is data is is a kind of methods or even functions that uh, can give multiple outputs. So basically. Make normal function in Java. Like if you're doing like normal function, function like if you're doing normal function ABC, correct? You do return only one, one two. You cannot return multiple things. You cannot like do like this kind of. You can do four. You cannot do that just with the function now, now, now function. You can only do a single item from a function. In generator function, you can return a multiple output. So, so how we do? So we use a syntax like we use a stick here. Correct. So when we use asterisk keyword, asterisk with the function or with the function name, it become generator. Right. So what we do, if you're running anything from here, this way. So you can return multiple things from the same function. Like so, we use the yield keyword. Ten. What is yield? It's a, you can say it's kind of a keyword like as we have written. The same way return. They have the we use yield keyword for returning any any value from the generator. So so as we use uh, return keyword with the functions, we use we use yield. For returning any value from the from the generator, but using yield you can return multiple values, but return you can return only single value, single value. Now now we can see how how we call it. So first we make a new first we make a cost first we make a make a variable cost. And uh, uh, you can say, you can say you know, ABC. and uh, you will call like simple ABC. Okay, and after that, you will do ABC. 
virtual Okay. Yeah, so you can see you first what we first do first we make the reference of this. When we uh, did ABC function, so it gives us an iteratable which is taking in the ABC. You can say you can say uh, which is the iterator. So after iterator, so we call ABC dot next. So it into the first value, which is done, then. Uh, so again, you will call next, it will give a next value. Go next. You see, it don't, it don't, it don't two values. Again, you call, call this. You know, uh, you know, a uh, saga, a uh, Redux saga, and uh, this observable. They internally use uh, this generator, and you uh, think of it also use generator inside. So you can see they turn it. Again, you turn. You call next. So every time you turn in new new values. Using using function, you, you can only turn the single value. So it's true because the value is not there. Yeah, because it is completed. True, this done. So done means function is not completed yet. So it means it, means it will tell you that you have next value. The like year year value value is stream. You have uh, you have event stream. So how you know that? Like you have next value or in in future. So this flag will tell is your function completed or not. So if you're getting done, it's false means not complete. Once you get done, it's it true. It means after that you call, it will not give any extra value. You can see it done means function is done. So if you so if using any while loop here, if you want to make any function which give infinite kind of value. So I'm using while loop. And in the while I'm making true. I'm making making kind of uh, uh, infinite loop. Okay. Let's make a variable here. One. This is make now you can see one, two, three, four, five. It, it, uh, oh, it, it will never, never finish. It is always give you so much out of value. Call it. That I will call, we will always get values. One, two, three, four, five. You will always get some the next value. So, so, so that we use for like value stream or streaming of the application. We will be having like, you know, all observable in Angular. They internally using this one. Because when you, you call having from event or event stream, they every time they will give new value. And in any subscribe the value change. These are like using the generator. So it's a part of a part of ES6. So if you find any if you find uh asterisk with any function, then you got to know this is a generator. Yeah. So this is the concept of generator. So these are functions we can pause. If you 
So you will basically so basically it do pass the execution here, and after that when it called next it will start execution from here, and give one execution and stop here. So you can stop your function in between, and you can you can pause your function, you can pop you can pause your subscriptions. So there are a lot of like things you can do with generator. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, any 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 other doubt you have like regarding anything? Okay. So so you can revise these these things. I will share one more like uh, file for like questions so that you can also solve. It is more advanced. Like, so yeah. Okay, so I think we have done for today. If you have any doubt, you can send send me. If you have any doubt, you can send me on WhatsApp. I will answer all the questions. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay.